Let's do my monthly favorite. So we're gonna jump right into this video. I'll try to make it nice and quick. I'm gonna start with my first favorite, which is a makeup brush. I just got this new Real Techniques brush. It is called the Expert Face Brush, and I'm just in love with it. Really soft texture. It works for all kinds of things, like applying foundation, concealer, brush, bronzer, you name it. I am a very one brush type of girl, so I like to use one brush for everything. And that brings me to what I've been using it for, is this NARS blush and bronzer duo. This is so good. I love it. It just makes your cheeks look amazing. This is in the in the colors Laguna and Orgasm. It's good stuff. This is what I have on my cheeks right now. So this is pricey, but it's worth it because it's just so beautiful. I like this a lot, NARS. My next one is going to be my concealer. This is NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. This is great for the under eyes, and even if you don't think you need concealer under your eyes, you do, because it will take years off your face, it will make you look more awake, more alert, and I really notice the difference in videos when I have it on or when I don't and I just feel like it just makes you look like a bright, shiny person. So get some concealer. I love this one, it's affordable, it works really well. It blends nicely and, you know, it lasts all day. So that one's good. And then for your eyebrows, you've seen this one in my eyebrow tutorial and I still love it. It continues to be a favorite. This is the Anastasia Brow Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel and I have it in the color Caramel and it's great for eyebrows, just keeping those hairs in place and it gives this light tint which kind of fills in the gaps if your eyebrows are not like super full. I love this because it just makes them look more groomed and more put together. It's super easy. Next one is going to be for the eyelashes. I've been really loving this lately. This is the Lash Blast Volume uh, Mascara from CoverGirl. It is a waterproof one which is important because it actually stays when I go to the gym and sweat and work out. I've noticed that if I don't wear waterproof then by the end of the workout I've got like black like residue and it's not so sexy. So I'm really liking this one because I look the same after the workout as I did before the workout and it keeps my like snuffle up against lashes looking upright. So good stuff. Cover girl. To remove that stuff I have been using my natural DIY cleanser recipe. This is from a previous video. You can watch that video here if you want to see how to make your own. And this is an amazing makeup remover. It doesn't sting your eyes or anything. So even if you're wearing something like waterproof mascara, you can really like scrub it with this stuff and it's not going to irritate. It's been a favorite of the month for sure. Lastly, we're going to go into the lips. This one, I don't know how to pronounce this brand. It's like Illa Masqua, something like that. I got it from Sephora, but this is a great, great lip gloss. Another one that's like a pretty big investment, but well worth it. And I really love the texture. It's not sticky. It's smooth. It stays on for quite a while. Definitely a good killer find of a lip gloss. I like it a lot. And that is the conclusion of my monthly favorites. Thank you so much for watching. I've really enjoyed putting together these beauty episodes for you guys. I love the suggestions. Continue to comment below and tell me what videos to create. I really appreciate when you put some input and then also share your stories. It was so great to hear all of your guys' uses for baking soda and all that stuff. So let's keep it going and I'll see you guys next Friday. Mwah. Bye. Stay tuned to find out my favorite fitness gear.